Michael had teen attacked in Whataburger just received devastating news overnight. 16-year-old Hunter Richard was eating with a group of friends at a burger joint in Texas, when 30-year-old Kino Jimenez, chose to rip off his Make America Great Again hat and dumped a cup of soda on him while spouting racial slurs. The incident has attracted national attention as Richard who lives in Orlando, Florida but was visiting friends in San Antonio, Texas after a video of the attack went viral on Facebook and Twitter, racking up millions of views. In the video, Jimenez can be seen throwing a drink at Richard and snatching his hat. Jimenez could also be heard screaming you ain't supporting us, in, at Richard before leaving Whataburger, a fast food restaurant. Jimenez has been arrested and charged with felony theft as a result of his actions. However, what is even more troubling than the fact a teenage boy was physically assaulted and verbally attacked in public by an adult not his parent or even known to him because said adult did not like a hat. This teenager is now being victimized all over again. Rather than admitting he was wrong, a witness claims to come forward. He just so happened to be a friend of Jimenez and claimed the attack was sparked by the group of teenagers making racist jokes. They were talking about, for the 4th of July, that, hanging black people from trees would be the perfect party, claimed the witness according to local news station Kins 5. National news networks have run with this story as though it were factual, except at the top of the article is an editor's note and retraction which states, editor's note. An earlier version of this story included quotes from the alleged witness. Those have been removed from this copy due to concerns about the legitimacy of the statements. The alleged witness according to Kins who requested anonymity claimed he and his family saw three teens in inside the restaurant apparently making racist comments regarding minorities causing Jimenez to snap. The witness also claimed his family received DH threats for discussing they reportedly witnessed. The witness also stated he did not witness the attack, but claims he did see an altercation happening inside the restaurant prior to deciding to leave with his family. He also claimed during the conversation that another man inside the Whataburger grasped the teens to stop making the offensive racial comments. However, even after retraction and a statement on why it was retracted, multiple media outlets are reporting it's still devoid of facts and proof to back their claim as a means to further the liberal narrative that Trump supporters, conservatives, and Republicans are intolerant and racist bigots. This is simply fake news at its finest and truly a disgusting display of propaganda to avoid personal responsibility for Jimenez. Richard is again being victimized and crucified in the court of public opinion with claims that because he allegedly spewed racial remarks, and therefore deserved the vile response he got. Except there is no proof Richard ever did any such thing. The initial report from a witness could not be validated and was therefore retracted by the news source. Also causing considerable suspicion as to the veracity of the so called witness and his relationship to him as himself, as well as his claims of so called racist statements from Richard, is that no one at Whataburger had any idea what was going on. No employees of the restaurant witnessed any portion of the alleged incident until after Jimenez snatched Richard's hat and with it a hunk of his hair as well. The current goal from certain factions appears to be the dehumanization of what they perceive to be their political opposition. It is a campaign to dehumanize and desensitize. It is a means to make harassment and violence against them normal, as well as to incite a mob-like mentality against those they perceive as having a different ideological thought process. Generations of dumbing down, of being indoctrinated, of being told what to think, rather than taught how to think have taken its toll on the American populace. Many cannot convey linear thought process coherently, let alone make logical conclusions. Frankly, the fact that it was a MAGA hat is irrelevant as is the fact that Richard is apparently a Trump supporter. It is also completely irrelevant that Jimenez clearly is not. The fact remains an adult physically assaulted a teenage boy because Jimenez, a grown man, did not like Richard's opinion as expressed by his hat. Jimenez's actions suggest that he believes Richard has no right to express an opinion or at least not one different than his own. Regardless of where you consider yourself on the political spectrum, be it right, left, or somewhere in between, what is relevant is that this mentality affects us all. Do not be foolish enough to think that your ideology is safe from attack, whatever it may be.
you are only as safe to experience.